New Mexico, we begin with some breaking news in the investigation into the murders of four local Muslim men. Newly filed federal documents allege the son of the man charged in two of those murders played a role in the killings as well. Shahid Saeed is not being charged with the murders at this point, but federal prosecutors argue he is a danger to the community and needs to be kept in jail. Tommy Lopez has been spending the evening going over these documents. So Tommy, we talked about Shaheen Saeed earlier this week. He was just arrested for allegedly lying about his address when he purchased a gun. The federal court documents though that, that we got tonight say his involvement in these murders at least goes a lot deeper. Yeah, that's right. We just got a look at these court documents about an hour ago. Federal prosecutors say evidence shows Shaheen Saeed is tied to these killings in this investigation, the killings of four Muslim men. That includes the most recent killing for which nobody is charged yet. Now, this is his father, Mohammed Saeed. Police say he recently ambushed, shot, and killed two Muslim men, and he is the lead suspect in the shooting deaths of two other Muslim men. This is new information that we're seeing about one of his sons, Shaheen Saeed, who also goes by my wand, according to these documents filed today. We don't know what charges he may face related to these killings, but prosecutors do lay out some evidence in these documents. They say cell phone data puts both him and his father at the scene of the fourth and most recent homicide, the ambush killing of Naeem Hussein. This is new information, new evidence linking his father to that killing and again, his son. I will note his father is not charged in that murder. Investigators say evidence shows the Volkswagen sedan linked to this case followed Naeem after the funeral services of the third victim in this case, Mohammed Afzal Hussein. The court document also points to someone trying to hide evidence. The hubcaps of that Volkswagen sedan were found in a dumpster, and the Saeed's car did not have hubcaps when they found it. On top of all of that, investigators say they found one of the two guns connected to the murders in the bedroom of the son, my wand. They are also, also calling my wand a, quote, serial liar. Now, police have connected him to two other incidents. As we reported earlier this week, investigators say he lied while buying a gun. In this new court document, there are also details about my wand allegedly beating up his teenage sister. One time it was so bad, investigators say, she went into CYFD custody afterward. Tessa. A, a, a lot of new developments here tonight, Tommy. Thank you so much.